Hi, my name is Amy Penn. In this Getting Started section, I'll review the bare basics of data. So let's begin. Here's the Stata interface when you first open it without any data set. The window on the bottom is called Command and is where you type in your commands. Stata then shows the results of the command in the larger window directly above it. Then your command is added to the list on the left in the window called Review, where you can keep track and recall any command you have used. The window on the upper right is called Variables and lists variables in your data set. Lastly, the Properties window is on your bottom right. It just displays properties of your variables and data set. There are other windows that are useful too, namely the Data Editor, the Do File Editor, and the Variables Manager. The Data Editor can be found under the Window tab over here. Also, it can be found on the Icon menu bar over here, or you could even open it by typing the command Edit in the command box below. This is where your database is contained. You can view and manipulate your data from here. The Do File Editor is another important window in Stata. You can also find it under the Windows tab, right below the Data Editor. Or you can also click on it on the icon menu bar over here. This is where you can store your commands of interest for future reference, annotate your commands, and even run all these commands at once without retyping anything. Lastly, the Variables Manager window can be found under the Window tab at the very end over here, or on the icon menu bar over here. This is where you can edit your variables by hand. However, I prefer editing my variables using commands as it can be faster at times. Lastly, these two icons on the end will appear green and red. And you can click them to advance further in the output for the green or to break it because the results output can be too long. Now let's explore the windows just mentioned with a database. Fortunately, Stata has many open source data sets for students to download and explore. To download a data set from Stata, you must be connected to the internet first. If you have internet on your computer now, you might type this command in. Sisius Life X. This will immediately open a data set called Life Expectancy into your own Stata. You can see that our command sysuse life exp immediately got listed in the review window here, while the variables of the life expectancy data got populated in the variables window. Also, when we type edit now in the command box, we can view our raw data and see what data points exist for each country. Here you can scroll up and down. Notice the different colors of the data points. We have blue, red, and black. Text that is black, like these, mean that these are numeric data, data with real numbers. Text that is red, like the country names, means that the data has letters and characters, something called string data. And lastly, the blue color over here is interesting. You can see that it says Europe and Central Asia. That's what it says in text, but when you click on it, it says 1. And if you scroll down to North America, it says 2. And to South America, it says 3. This is a special case where there are labels that, at its heart, the variable region has numeric data, has 1, 2s, 3s. But you can put a label on top of each number to represent something else other than the number itself. Another nice feature in Stata is called the filter bar. It's also known as your search term bar or your variable search bar. So when you go to the variable window, you can look for the icon that looks like a funnel over here and click it. Once you click it, you can type in your search terms here. Type the word annual and it shows pop growth because the word annual is in the label of the variable. 
This concludes the Stata introduction tutorial.